Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have finally gotten our shipment for Ikoria. So basically New Zealand is going into probably level 2 next week, fingers crossed. And then we can probably get some um, games going again in the store. So let the hype begin. I'm going to be opening a collector booster. So I know that many people probably have already seen them, um, seeing a lot of box openings online. But uh, to be honest, I've actually haven't looked at any spoilers except for the um so i only played like a draft on the arena and stuff like that so there was actually a lot of cards that i actually didn't know about so man before the internet it was much of a simpler time and yeah i do really enjoy opening the packs and then see how it it, it is so basically collect the pack um each booster box they come with it's a really small booster box by the way so each booster box comes with 12 booster packs so these are the premium packs so basically everything is um especially made for collectors so a lot of the only cards that you can't really pull in this is um the buy box promo godzilla cards which you get one every buy box anyway um it's mostly the extended arts that you can't get so we'll be opening it and let's see what we get. So inside, uh, you'll always get a foil token and then you'll start getting um, a bunch of foil. Let me just scroll. Yep, foil um, comments and comments. So that, and then foil land. And then what actually happens is this slot is a commander slot. So you'll get a card that is only in the commander decks. You'll also get, so this one is exclusive. You only get ex, um, extended arts only in collector packs. You can't get them in any booster packs or anything like that. Oh, nice. So now we've got a foil version. Um, sometimes they come in foil as well. Then these are the new showcase cards. So this is like very cartoony. So I'm just... Oh, so what's cool is that these new lands, they um, they have a showcase version of it, so awesome. And next, what we get is we'll get a Godzilla card. So this is a Godzilla non-foil. And then lucky last, we get a foil showcase as well. So that's a bit of a breakdown on what the, um, what the packs are. So I'm just going to go through it and then we can have a look. Oh, <laughs> foil now set, but it's not a borderless one. That's pretty cool though. So and yeah. Ooh, and this is a borderless Luca. And we have Godzilla. So this is the bio box promo Godzilla non foil. Super. I really like the art style in the set. So. Super excited. During lockdown, I was, ooh, that's pretty cool. So during lockdown, playing arena, I was like, oh, must, oh, that's pretty cool. Sorry. So there's an extended art foil mythic. So the monster hunter dude. Um, so during lockdown, I actually played quite a bit of, um, well, I played a draft of arena. But then honestly, just playing the game on arena makes me value physical like i was just playing the game and just thinking how cool it would be just to hold the cards in my hand so finally can get to open cards again and can't wait to actually play paper magic again so. Cool. Ooh, so that's a for uh, Kinnan. Oh, nice. I got the order. So, a foil version of the order. I think I got killed by that in draft. <laughs> so, it's left. Um, ooh. So, we have Space Godzilla Death Corona, but non foil version. So, um, so people that don't know, um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know now that the Space, the Death Corona was sort of like um, printed before the whole epidemic happened. So, um, 
after next print, if they do this, if they do do a second printing, that card will actually be changed. The name will be um, changed away. So to a lot of people, the foil version of that one will be quite a collector's item. Uh, okay. mm. oh, octopus and we have Godzilla champion and foil fox bird so this is our six pack so we're almost halfway down the new mutate mechanic is actually pretty cool um, at first sight, I didn't really think too much about it until I actually got to play with it. I really like this card as well in, in draft. Next thing, ground. Ah, uh, so just a normal foil rare. Oops, sorry. So that. Ooh, Ball Quartz Space Godzilla. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And then Boneyard Looker. Foils look so much better. I'm not too sure if the um, the showcase actually comes in arena. I actually haven't really seen it. But then again, I don't really play arena. So support local game stores. That's 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 how we roll. So. Ooh, that's that's really pretty. Oops, I'll just put, put it over there. It's just well, okay. Borderless now set. King Caesar. That's quite nice. Yeah, sorry if uh, my sorting is all over the place. There's like too many different card types, so I'm just like putting them around as I see fit. <laughs> nice. So talking. Ooh, Foil Vivian. So it's just a normal Foil Vivian. Nice. So I really like the lens. And, ooh, that looks really cool as well. Parcel Beast. The foiling actually just looks better and better, to be honest. But then, like, I don't know. For me, I'm still a bit... The, the, the three different showcase, like, showcase differentiate too much between sets in my opinion but then again I know that it's not really needed it's more like a reskin but um yeah so I've got no no real comments about that oh nice this is the um this is pretty much like the the sought after card for commander so that's really really cool I heard people talking about it all the time nice another another land baby Godzilla Looks really derpy. So, wow, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, fierce guardsman, uh, guardianship. That's pretty crazy. That one, super good for commander. Oh, so you can actually open those there. Yeah. All right. Disclaimer, um, I know a lot of people in New Zealand will probably um, say that I'm not allowed to post pictures. I actually did get um, a girl from Wizard, but remember, the set is actually not officially out until the 15th of May in New Zealand. So I'm doing an unboxing here just to get the hype started because I know we've all been in lockdown for quite a while. and um, But I hope to see you all in next Friday. So that will actually be super cool again to see everybody. Um, so for now, just doing a bit of card opening and getting ready for singles for pre-order, which, yeah, we should be seeing it soon. So, uh, Shark Typhoon, Sharknado, yeah, that's right, for art. So, ooh, that looks pretty crazy. And, oh, cool, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so the only complaint I have with the collector booster is that because you always get like a Godzilla card, um, it kind of makes the 
box topper seemed a lot less interesting. Because originally when I heard about the box topper, I was like, yeah, something exclusive for buying a box. And then you found out that, oh, okay, the box, the the collector packs, you, you get them all over the place. It is a bit disappointing, but I know that the box topper, you should always get foil. So, um, not, nothing, yeah, well, we can't really complain too much. But, yeah, just my little, middle pet peeve, uh, li um, little pet peeve. Nice, another land. <laughs> and we got a trumpeting nah. So there you go. This is what a collector booster box looks like. Um, there is a lot of really cool cards inside. Um, definitely, if you guys are interested, I, I would say if you're a collector, come collector. If you really like Godzilla, I think you'll really love the set. Um, you are opening a lot of the packs for Godzilla cards. Um, so for me, I personally, I really like the showcase cards myself. So that's why I'm super excited with that. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully, we will get out of lockdown soon, and I'll see you guys all for release on the 15th of May. Take it easy and stay safe.